Welcome and aloha. This is Adventures in Small Business. It's a collaboration between uh, U.S. Small Business Administration, Hawaii District Office, and its partners. We are showcasing uh, small business owners in Hawaii and talking stories. And today we're going to talk about marketing and PR. Uh, we have a great guest here, Eric Hudson. Hey, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. So, Eric. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself, your sure. work background, and how did you decide to come up with a business? Sure. Um, so a little history on myself. Uh, I began in basically news journalism. Um, in Atlanta, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, so I started uh, in journalism. I was a newspaper writer, did that for about five years. I was managing it, um, managing a group of weekly papers in the Atlanta area. And as the... Uh, the newspaper industry started to decline. I really felt called to join the military. And so uh, I joined the Army, and I've been doing uh, public affairs for the Army for about a decade now. Um, during that time, I've had a lot of great um, experiences. Um, one of my first, uh, first things I remember since I did public affairs for the Army was I had to deal with an active shooter at Fort Hood, Texas. Um, and then even after that, I did a deployment where we responded to the Ebola uh, crisis in West Africa. Um, so I've got a wealth of, uh, I guess, experience. And now, you know, it's time for me to transition. And, uh, you know, I just really and I want to take the risk and do, do it my way. And I feel that, like, you know, I, I can do this on my own. And I, I'm excited to do this now. And why PR business? Why marketing business? <laughs> well, well, I mean, I, it's just something I've always enjoyed. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, even since I was a little kid, it's, it's PR and marketing. It's all about creating great content. And I, I just realized as I look back that I've always enjoyed, uh, you know, it, writing or just, just making great content and whatever means. And, and that's just kind of flows in with what I, I just naturally enjoy. Uh, so can you tell us more about Hudson PR Group? What sure. do you do? Sure. So it, it, it is a fairly new um, company, um, but it, I think it's a little different than a lot of the traditional PR companies. Um, a lot of times you'll see large PR companies, they send out just mass emails to media companies all across wherever they're trying to reach. And, uh, and you know, you can, they send out maybe a thousand emails and then you ask, OK, how effective was that? Well, well, we were published in these two newspapers. Well, and then how do you affect? How does that affect your bottom line? Most traditional PR companies they can't answer that. Um, so what I've really been doing, focusing on sort of more of an inbound PR type thing. Um, customers today, they see advertising and it annoys them. You know, it pops up on your phone. You you ignore it. You close it out. Um, nowadays, people they don't want to be advertised to. Um, once they discover a product, you know, they're, they're very inquisitive. They learn all about that product. They don't go to a salesperson. They do research on their own. They'll go to YouTube. They'll see what their friends are talking about. Um, so now it's how do we engage your customer or your client? How do we do that on their terms? And it draws them in instead of pushing them away. So that's really how we're, we're different than a lot of our competition and, how, and what we're focusing on. So what exact services would you provide? For well, me as a small business owner, <laughs> I just started the business. I don't know how to get clients. Sure. What, what can you now, do for me? So we, we can do all the, the things that the, the large PR companies can do, the big email blast. Um, but what I'd really do is I'd, I'd sit down with you and I'd figure out, hey, what are your goals? Is it to increase sales? And how are we going to do that? Is it driving more people to your website or are we trying to get them physically in your store? Um, and this is how we're going to get there. Lots of times it's going to be through social media. Maybe we, maybe you need to start a blog and, and you're maybe not selling right away to your customer, but you're engaging with your customer and then when they're ready to learn about you, 
the content is there and it draws them in and then they start to trust you and eventually they come to a decision point where they hopefully decide to go with your company. So I kind of, I can start you off with this is what's available and we can walk you through the whole process of how you figure out who your customer is, how they find you, and then ultimately how they decide to go with you versus your competitor. So not only marketing, PR services, but also consulting and educating. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, I mean, we can do, I mean, we've, we've worked with some clients, just simple things, just branding, maybe creating a logo, things like that. And we've also, you know, sent out the large press releases. We can do it all. Uh, but I think we really focus on helping, you know, especially smaller startup companies find their customer and engage with them. Marketing is getting more and more yeah. complicated. <laughs> and we get a lot of clients asking about marketing, branding. And a lot of them feel confused. Sure. Uh, what is marketing? What is public relations? What is the brand? What is the difference between these sure. terms? Can you? Well, it's all. It's, it's all honestly kind of a large, vague, broad, uh, broad statement. Public relations is just simply how do you interact with the public? How are you viewed? And you know, the branding is you know what images do they recognize as yours? Um, so it is a very broad statement. Um, and I want to work to figure out, okay, uh, how do we take your relationship with the customer or, and how do we turn that into, you know, the bottom, bringing in more, um, more uh, profit for you? That sounds great. Where do I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> so PR, marketing, branding. Uh, Influencers, that's yeah. a term that I hear a lot in exactly. the marketing world. What sure. does it mean? So, you know, I, I can give you a pretty good example. Uh, recently, I decided that I wanted to get a new gym bag. Um, I didn't just automatically jump on, you know, Nike.com or, you know, any of the major sites. I happened to see somebody, I think on Facebook, post about this bag that they had got and they enjoyed it. So, you know, I looked at it, got the photo, and then, again, I didn't go to the manufacturer's website. I looked on YouTube, I saw somebody's like opening um, presentation and I read reviews on, you know, some for Yelps or Google, you know, and honestly, I make that decision on whether I'm going to buy this before I go to the manufacturer's website and oftentimes without even talking to a salesperson. So those influencers, they're very valuable um, because it doesn't seem like they're trying to sell to you. You're drawn to them because they're, they're talking about something you're interested in and you can go to them um, when you're ready to. So where do I find an influencer? Facebook, Instagram, or any platform? Uh, what, what qualifies someone For, as an influencer? It has to be a really big following? No, or it has to. So the, the first step in any good PR is finding out who you're trying to reach. So your influencer may not have the biggest following, um, but if you're trying to, I don't know, if you're trying to sell dog treats, your influencer might have local um, contacts with, you know, dog owners, and a lot of dog owners may follow that person. It may be a small following, and you may never heard of them, but those dog owners appreciate their opinion. And that, you know, they lead you, you know, they build the trust in your company. Does it cost or is it free? <laughs> nothing's, nothing's free. There's no free lunch. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you can work and, you know, have good relationship with some influencers and um, maybe work on that some, but unfortunately nothing. At, you, know, you can build on your own social media and your own, you can have, you know, create your own marketing. Mm -hmm. um, and so that typically it takes time. Um, but, you know, to go outside of that, there's, you know, you have to get creative with it. So you can help uh, people with finding That's influencers, absolutely. contacting them. Yes. That's great. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned it takes time to be successful sure. uh, with marketing. Uh, how do I build a successful marketing strategy? Where do I start from? Are there any steps that you would suggest to take? Yeah. Um, so the very first thing is you need to decide who you're targeting, who is your, you know, your customer, um, and then, on, you know, what is the goal once you reach that customer? Or the, you know, are you trying to drive them to your website? Are you trying to uh, get them into your store? 
Um, and then once you've identified who that person is, you can kind of walk through how, how you're going to engage with them. Uh, maybe you need to start a blog. And this blog, you know, maybe you do it twice a week. And you may not even mention any of the products that you sell, but you're building trust with them. Um, so it's really about having a conversation and learning who your customer is and pulling them in. Uh, a lot of advertising and marketers today, they push products out to you. And that today's, you know, today's customer, they don't want to see advertising pushed to them. They ignore it. Um, you know, uh, commercial comes on TV, you walk to the, you know, get something out of the kitchen. Um, but when you're really interested in something, um, you start to find the websites, or you do some research, and good marketing PR it pulls you in, and it can kind of walk you through until you get to a decision point, and hopefully get that, uh, you know, make that decision. I love the idea that you focus on the customer. First of all, sure. you have to identify that specific customer. And a lot of clients of ours have a challenge identifying a specific target audience because they say, well, anybody would love my sure. product. <laughs> it's a great product. Yeah. What would you say? Uh, like, can you target everyone or no. you have to be more specific? You might have a product that everybody loves, um, but who is your core audience? I mean, McDonald's, they, they sell to mass market, um, but, you know, it, they know who their core customer is. It's probably not the guy looking to eat healthy. You know, it's probably, you know, families or someone looking for something quick to get in their stomach. Um, so, sure, you might reach a broader audience, uh, but you need to figure out who your target audience is. Once you've nailed that down, you can kind of build out from there. So, first, num uh, first step is audience and then uh, getting to know your audience. Exactly. Right? How do you get to know your audience? You just go out and try to talk to them? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, uh, thankfully, we have the Internet. Um, you can reach out to, to you know, you, you kind of decide who do you think is your audience, and then you kind of engage with some, some people in, you know, in that target audience and find out if your assumptions are correct. Um, I mean, you can reach out, most of them, on Facebook or Instagram. You can talk mm -hmm. directly to a lot of these people. and. You can deal with people that have a lot of experience in that field and kind of narrow it down. And it's all, I mean, you're always refining it and trying to get to know them better. What about focus groups or other methods of trying to talk sure. to your customers? Focus groups you are, suggest any? are great. Um, they're usually, it takes a lot of time and it's also, you know, like not free, like we've mentioned, uh, but focus groups are a great uh, resource. Surveys, any other exactly. methods? Yeah, and you can do surveys online um, relatively cheap compared to like a, you know, in person focus group. You can get a lot of feedback, you know, if you write, ask the right questions on online surveys especially. Okay, so we identified our customer, then we get to know our customer yeah. and follow their needs, their problems and challenges, right? Exactly. Sounds like very simple. <laughs> it sounds simple. Uh, unfortunately, you know, it takes time because you know you're building a relationship, and that just it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, so, what are the biggest challenges for small business owners in, um, in marketing? Sure. Well, why it takes so long uh, for people to build successful I think, strategies? You know, a small company today they want to focus. You know, if, you know they sell uh, cookies. They want to focus on baking their cookies, making sure their store looks presentable. They don't have the time to invest uh, into really building that relationship. Um, so, you know, when they do finally get around to marketing to their customer, they'll just throw out some social media posts. Maybe they'll do, you know, like a Google ad or something like that. And then they'll just sit back and wait, expecting, you know, people to start, start coming to their store or their website. And it doesn't happen because they haven't invested that time. Um, but once you've invested the time, know your customer, what they're looking for, how to engage them, then it becomes a lot more effective. And you, you'd be surprised at just how many customers you're reaching and how effective, you, well, for how much you're getting out of the money you spend on it, any kind of advertising, and then just how many people are listening to what you're saying. Like everywhere, probably planning is key. You can't just shoot yeah. in the air different directions. <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. And that's a, a lot of the old PR. Um, You'd see, you know, we mentioned they'd send out mass press releases to media across the country, and then 
you know, they maybe get their story put into two newspapers and it just wasn't effective. So now we really want to dig in, figure out who's, who really has this need that we can solve for them and how do we reach them. So planning, that's also what you're focusing on, and you're helping and guiding your client. So thank you so much. Uh, we're taking a short break, and we will be back in one minute. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. My show is based on my book, also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about creating a superior culture of excellence, leadership, and finding greatness. I interview guests who are successful in business, sports, and life, which is sure to inspire you in finding your greatness. Join me every Monday as we go beyond the lines at 11 a.m. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. I'm Tim Apicella. I'm here with Cynthia Sinclair. And this is Trump Week. It's going to appear every Friday at 11 a.m. Between Jay Fidel, Cynthia, and myself, we talk about Trump, the activities, and the news stories for that week as it pertains to the Trump administration. We hope you tune in and watch the fun. Aloha. See you then. Welcome back to Adventures in Small Business. Today we are talking about marketing and PR with Eric Hudson. Hi. Welcome back, Eric. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so we're talking about how to build a successful strategy. We need to identify our audience, get to know our audience, and yeah. then find their need and problem. Um, social media, that's another uh, very big sure. question for a lot of small business owners. There's so many different channels and a lot of times they try to do Facebook, Instagram, sure. Snapchat, all of those. Yeah. Do you suggest one channel or multiple channels? And what is the most popular in, in Hawaii? What is the most mm -hmm. important in Hawaii? I, I don't think that there's one that is more important than any other. Um, honestly, it's where are you, where's your desired cus target customer at, your audience? If, uh, you know, if you're trying to reach a younger audience um, to buy your product, you're probably not going to put it on, on Facebook. Um, you know, there are more on Snap, chat, and Instagram, things like that. Um, so it all comes down to knowing your customer and where are they talking. You, you go to them and find out what is working for them. You know, if you're a, an older crowd may be more on Facebook. Um, and so you, I would put more time into wherever your customer is. and then. Once you're using that social that platform, you know there are a lot of a lot of people talking on those. So you need to figure out how do you stand out, how do you provide an experience for your target audience that that really says something to them. And engagement is playing a very big role in exactly. social media, right? Yeah. So how do you engage? Do you have any tips for uh, <laughs> small business owners how they can better engage their audience when they're Sure. Um, first of all, just in general, well, maybe except for on uh, Twitter, never just use words and text. Uh, you know, photos are better. Video is probably best. Um, but then, you know, just using all the new kind of, you know, Facebook and uh, Snapchat, they do all the, you know, the live share your, you know, events of your day. You know, use whatever the newest, uh, you know, program is, um, not program, but th the newest thing is, and uh, you can use that to stand out because your, um, you know, your uh, other, the other people are trying to reach them probably aren't using those things. So you need to learn um, that social, that platform and use it the best you can. I love the fact that you started talking about video and I sure. actually heard that video will become a very big part of marketing. Yeah. Um, by 2020, Google says that it will be maybe 80% of all marketing content. Right. Um, so for those small business owners who don't have professional cameras, they don't know how to do video. Yeah. What can they do now today with their marketing strategy? Um, well, that's, I would say, you know, everyone's got a phone. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't always have to be the most professional, you know, looking. It doesn't have to have all the, the 
the glitter and the shine. It just has to have a, a real message, something that's really going to speak to your audience. Um, you, you know, put the time in, invest, do the best you can with it, and understand what really speaks to your customers. They, you know, if you are, you know, selling cookies, they don't necessarily expect you to have, you know, Hollywood level effects on your video. Don't try to be perfect, right? Try to be, being real and authentic is probably, real. yeah, is one of the most important things. Being real and not trying to be, um, yeah, don't be something you're not. I mean, that's true. Something of it. you're not. Yeah, that's true. And that's a great advice. Thing. Yeah. Uh, so what would be your overall vision for success? Not only marketing, but uh, you just starting out your sure. business. There are so many challenges, lack of time, lack of budget. Yeah. Are there any tips in general that you would like to give to small business owners who are just starting? Um, you know, Really think through your plan. Um, make sure you have a plan. Uh, you know, it's going to be slow at first. Um, so make sure that you've built up a good network, um, people that can lead you, uh, things that you may not have considered, and encourage you. You know, as I've kind of gone through this, there have been times when I've, you know, doubted, like, uh, geez, I don't know if, if I'm ready for all this. Uh, but then, you know, you go to a meeting with some other people that are doing something similar and all of a sudden they're encouraging and, and that's really, you know, just getting, gets you back on track. Um, so I think that's one of the most important things is, yeah, there's going to be discouraging days, but you've got a plan, you know what you're doing, and you've got resources that are there to back you up when you, you know, have questions like anyone will. What about resources? Do you suggest any uh, useful resources for small business owners for sure. education or business planning? Sure. Um, so I've used the uh, VBOC um, program a lot. And um, since I'm coming out of the military, they have a few programs. Uh, Boots to Business is one. Um, I personally went through that, and uh, they've enrolled me through a, a, another program that helps me build a business plan. So I feel like I know quite a bit about PR and marketing. I don't know anything about writing a business plan. I didn't know how to register my business, you know, through the state. Um, and they have those connections that have done it before and can, you know, walk you through and talk to you about what you're trying to do and to help you achieve, you know, your goal. Great. Um, so how can we find you if I want to sure. work with you? Um, <laughs> What's your website, phone yeah, so, number? So my website is uh, www.hudsonprgroup.com. Um, but I really pride myself on being a small business. Um, so my phone number, it's all on my website. Um, it's it's 808-913-7401. You can reach that anytime. Or feel free to email me at eric at Hudson PR Group. I, I, you know, because we're a small company, I, and even as we grow, I want to continue to offer personalized um, help to any, any client that we might potentially have. Thank you so much, Eric, for sharing your knowledge. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And thank you for joining Adventures in Small Business. Stay tuned for more adventures every Thursday, 11 o'clock. Have a great day. Aloha.